Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. Earl Spence, going to be returning in April um, against Keith Thurman. But for those of you who haven't uh, seen this clip of uh, Earl Spence, uh, um, back when he was having fun and hanging with the, the wrong crowd, check this out. He's talking about how he beat you now. Yeah, he beat me. Look, I started fighting in 2015. In 2015, I started fighting in 2015. He beat me in 2016. I was year fighting. All three of us was in the amateurs. Nobody beat you in 2016, bro. All three of us was in the amateurs. I did. That's when he had his braids. When he cut his braids, yeah. No, he beat me in 2000. No, I started fighting in 2015. He beat me in 2017. He had his Two years. He started fighting two years in the boxing. I started fighting when I was 15 years old. Oh, 15. I start, I'm sorry. Yeah, I started fighting when I was 15 years old. I was born in 1990, 2015. I was so let's do the math on that, right? 1990, 2015, he was 15 years old. Absolutely hilarious, man. 15 years old. He beat me in 2007. Okay. You know and then what I'm saying? Video YouTube when you were an amateur stopping a poor dude in the body. Like yeah, I was stopping everybody. I was stopping everybody. I was a monster. Very mean. You know? That is hilarious. But... The reality of the situation is, this Earl Spence is not the same. He's a totally different animal now. I think he's learned from a lot of his mistakes. He's going to be fighting Keith Thurman, and that's going to be a good fight. Don't listen to what anyone else is telling you. Earl Spence's next fight is not Pacquiao. It's not Crawford. It's Keith Thurman. After he fights Keith Thurman, he has to fight the winner of Stanley Eunice and Ortiz. After he fights that guy, then he's got to fight Jerron Ennis. Now, that is what's set in stone. Now, if there are refinements to be made, it will not be made to probably after the Ortiz standing units. But um, Boots Ennis, he's right there. So if Spence doesn't want to, if he doesn't fight those guys in that order, he's going to be stripped. All right. That being said, y'all keep cool. These other YouTube channels posting crap. Listen, they, they be lying their ass off. It's ridiculous. I'm telling you the facts. And as far as Terrence Crawford, let me tell you another fact. Terrence Crawford is not fighting no damn Boots Ennis. Terrence Crawford, more than likely, is going to end up fighting Alexis Rocha, Blair Cobb, or maybe Conor Ben if Conor Ben can, if Eddie Hearn can finagle some things for him. But listen to those three names I just said about Terrence Crawford. Conor Ben, Alexis Rocha, or Blair Cobb. And those are facts. I've said it in other videos. I've explained it. I'm not going to explain it here. This is a short video, but just understand, Terrence Crawford, probably going to be elect, a Connor Ben, Alexis Rocha, or Blair Cobb. For Earl Spence, it's going to be Thurman, the winner of Stanley Units versus Ortiz, and then Boots Ennis. That is what it is. Get the, key, get the uh, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence fight. Get it out your brain. It is not going to happen. Not because I don't want it to happen, because of the mandatories and just the way everything is being structured and how the sanctioning bodies are forcing these mandatories on Earl Spence. I'm telling you, don't expect to see Earl Spence and Crawford in that ring in 2023. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.